back to Zidane. Now the players are off for their five-minute break. I would imagine the thing that they would want most would be a cold shower. But obviously there won't be time for that. But let's ask Eric Bristow, who is with us in the studio, how important you think that fifth set was there, Eric? Well, it was very important to Bob. Uh, he, he started off superb, didn't he? He went 2-0 up, uh, wasn't missing a double. Then he started missing doubles. John, John come back, but he did against me. Two sets all. John had to throw the last set, and then... Uh, Bob's broke, broke his serve, really. Sure. So now, a bit of a two-minute break. Bob's going to feel good. If he'd have come off 3-2 up, he'd have, he'd have been sick. But uh, now all he's got to do is hold his throw. Sounds yeah. easy enough. Yeah. Sure. Bob's been so psyched up right from the beginning of this tournament. He's obviously been the man who's desperate to win it. And his scoring, ha his scoring has been so high. He's averaged such a high in every match. And he's doing it again here in the final. He's played brilliant all week. He's played superb. Uh, John's struggled. Um, he's, he's played a fair game against Paul Lynn, but he, he's come through in the end. Uh, I went 2-0 up on him, and then he, he sorted me out, but uh, he, he's progressed. He, he doesn't give in, John. You've got to watch him. He's, he's playing very well. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good final. Well, he's come back from behind in matches before. Obviously, he could do it again. He's got back to 2-2, two -two, but now he's trailing again. Yeah, but he, he's not going to worry about that, really. 2-0 down. Obviously, he's 3-2 down now, but uh, when he was 2-0 down, if he'd have said to him uh, at the five-set stage, he'd, he'd only be 3-2 down, he'd have took that. So it's good. It's going to be a good game. Uh, John won't give in. He, he doesn't give in. He's, he's been there before. What's the significance of the suit? We've never seen you in a suit before. Is this, you're going to become a commentator now, are you? I borrowed it. Yeah. <laughs> it fits all right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you looking so smart. Thanks for joining us, Eric. We'll talk to you again a little bit later. Well, there's still a couple of minutes to go while the players are, are having their five-minute break, and it gives us an opportunity to pause and uh, just reflect for a moment what a, a great occasion this is when you get 32 of the world's best dart players under one roof and then invite them to battle it out between themselves to decide which of them should be the champion. I think Eric enjoyed that, didn't you, Eric? Oh, sure, yeah. I think everybody at home likes to hear don't they? a bit of music to the, the, the dark. It's great. Well, that was our interval, that, because the players are now ready to come back out onto the stage. Let's just remind you that the score after that first session was Bob Anderson leading in the final against John Lowe by three sets to two, and our commentator for the second session will be Tony Green. To resume the final, please welcome back Bob Anderson. John Lowe. Yes, here they come back. I'm just wondering if they watch that really musical acting. They gave them a break, but it's back to the battle. A shake of hands. There'll be three darts practice each. That's the rules. And Anderson having broken the serves of John Lowe in the last set. will be throwing first in the sixth set.
So three darts from low, and he'll be underway once again. Just sit back, relax if you can. Well, they're taking six darts instead of the normal three. A lot of fans for low, the ambassador here at the embassy. It'll subside shortly when Fred Williams gets Thank it underway. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, sixth set. Bob to throw first. Game on, please. And back to the action. 95. A lot of the players said Lowe couldn't fight back. Well, he's proven them wrong this week.